Any last messages to your wives and children? I will hear them now. Very well. A court martial convened by me in Fuhrer's absence will pronounce sentence. Beck, you're under arrest. Colonel Metz von Kernheim, General Olbrecht, Lieutenant Hefton, and the colonel, whose name I will not mention, are condemned to death. General, my orders are to take these men alive. Noted, Major. I'd like a pistol, please. For personal reasons. Get on with it. With all respect, sir. That will be all, Major. Killing us won't hide your involvement. My involvement? I don't know what you're talking about. You knew it did nothing. You're as guilty as any of us. Spare me, Lieutenant. No one will be spared. I'm thinking of earlier times. This is an outrage that has never before been perpetrated here. A field marshal and a general declare that they could do things better than he, who is the Führer of us all. You profess to having said this. Yes. My fellow Germans, I speak to you tonight for two reasons. First, so that you can hear my voice and know that I am unheard. Second, so that you may know the details of a crime without parallel in German history. A small clique of ambitious, dishonorable officers have conspired to eliminate me. Except for a few bruises and burns, I was completely untouched. I see in this the hand of Providence directing me to complete my work. Looked him in the eye. I remember you. Albrecht! People know we put our principles above personal gain. Make ready. Hey. over to the executioner but in three months time the disgusted and harried people will bring you to book and drag you alive through the dirt in the streets take him away me ready 
Everybody! Aim! Go to the sacred Germany! Oh.